what is going on? It's Brian versus the book, the Go Boys Network. And this is the first video I get to do on this, you know, fun YouTube channel we got. And if you haven't liked and subscribed, make sure you do so. We're going to talk about baseball. As you can see, I'm wearing my Rangers Suarez jersey. And if you don't follow me, I like to do a lot of strikeout props. I like to back a lot of pitcher props in general, whether it's outs, earned runs, you know, first fives, whatever it could be. And I think there's a few things we're going to talk about today, you know, whiff rate, strikeout rate. There's a lot of things you gotta look for for pitchers. It's usually righty lefty splits. Uh, I like to look at the contact rate in the zone for teams that are playing and just a lot of different things. We'll kind of cover it. We'll have a lot more of these videos, but it's exciting to have the first one be today. There's 12 games, but early on in the season, you see a lot of things. You don't know the guy's leashes. You don't know how people are kind of handling their pitchers. There's a lot of bad weather. So there's a lot of things you gotta keep in mind, but there's four spots today that I have not locked in the bet yet but are definitely interesting. I'm going to talk about them. So first one is Jesus Lazardo. Uh, I think he's playing at 640 and he gets the Los Angeles Angels, Mike Trout, and a bunch of mid players. So there's a few things with Lazardo you have to look for. His strikeout rate against righties is actually worse than lefties. And the Angels are a lot of right-handed batters. But the big thing with them is they don't take a lot of pitches per at bat. Last year, they were below average with 3.9 pitches per AB. So for him, that has a higher walk rate against righties and a lower strikeout rate. We're just hoping for a lot of quick at bats, four or five pitch walks, four or five pitch strikeouts would be really ideal. He does have a good leash, so I'm backing him. This is the only play I have locked in is Lazardo six strikeouts and the Marlins to score over two and a half runs. And that basically is a PPD is when you take a pitcher six strikeouts and a win per se. I'm not really backing the Marlins to win here. So rather than that, I'm just backing them to score some runs uh, because despite being 0-5, they have scored three or more runs in four of the five games they've played. And they've hit lefties well. Last year, they were surprising the, the second best team against lefties. They hit 280 and that doesn't always translate to runs. But Tyler Anderson has really struggled as a starter last year. Five and a half ERA. He was pretty good out of the bullpen but I don't see him having much success against this team. So just give me three runs and give me some strikeouts for Lizardo. The second pitcher I want to back, and I mentioned this earlier about you don't know how the leash of some guys are, is Jose Barrios. I'm surprised that he's getting a, uh, a four and a half strikeout line. It is juiced, but at the same time, he's a guy that he just throws a lot of pitches. I mean, last game he, he, he threw 91 pitches. And early on in the season, throwing 91 pitches is a great uh, you know, sign if you are backing a pitcher. So even if he does get dinged up against this Astros team, a four and a half strikeout line, I've not locked it in yet, but it could be a fun thing to pair with something. It is minus 150 on DraftKings. Like I said, he's not a great pitcher, but if he's getting that many, you know, chances to strike guys out, seeing 20 to 25 batters, four and a half line is pretty low. He has a 23% strikeout rate against righties and lefties. It is a righty heavy lineup, but his walk rate against righties is almost is a, a lot lower against righties so hopefully he stays pretty clean and he gets out there for five six innings and he should be able to find five strikeouts the third pitcher i want to mention is something that is a good combination of a guy that gets a deep leash like barrios but he doesn't you know pitch bad a lot of the time and that is shane bieber last year his strikeout stuff was not elite he did have a lot of low strikeout games but the one thing you can count on for him is he gets this Guardians team where they need to go. He gives them quality innings. He should be able to pitch six, maybe even seven innings. Probably not this late, uh, this early in the year. But you can almost staple him, him in for six innings a lot of the times because he's able to just throw strikes, attack the zone, and give you what you need. Big issue with the Guardians last night was Tristan McKendry was pitching. He just could not find the zone. And for a team like the Mariners, that had a 26% strikeout rate against righties last year. You gotta just throw it in the zone. You can't be too afraid of them. They don't have too many bats that can burn you if you miss. But if you're throwing dirt balls, if you're throwing it at people's faces, if you're throwing at people's, you know, elbows, whatever you want to call it, McKenzie just could not find the zone, could not find strikes. I think Shane Bieber is a guy that can just throw quality pitches and you should be able to lock him in for 85, 90 pitches. His strikeout line is six and a half today. He had 11 last week, which is crazy for a first start even if it is Oakland. So his strikeout stuff looks a lot better. So if he's putting that ball in the zone, I think you're going to see a lot of strikeouts from him, whether you want to do six plus and pair it with something else or just pay the juice for that six and a half line. I think he should have a, another great outing here. 
Uh, and then the last spot I want to talk about on this, I think a 12 game slate is you Darvish. So if you're backing out props over strikeout props, it's a lot more fun to root for. If you're just rooting for any kind of out, you Darvish used to be the strikeout. I mean, used to be the outs King. His line was 20 and a half, uh, at some points last year and the year before he did not have a strong ending to the season last year. He did get dinged up a lot. And then this season he's starting out pretty well. But his leash is only about 70 pitches. I'm expecting that to be a lot more today. Because this is a guy that was throwing 90 to 100 pitches on a regular basis for this team. And he's just a long tenure guy they trust. So I'm backing him to somehow get six uh, outs, oh, six innings pitch today. So his line is, seven, is uh, 17 and a half outs, which is six full innings. It is really juiced. I have not found a way to pair it yet. But I think it's a good way to find something. Because even though he only went five innings last game... He gets a, a Cardinals team that's pretty, you know, shorthanded. They're missing some key parts of the offense. They are just hitting 230 this, this year against righties. They have a strike rate of 30% so far and only 4% walk rate against right-handed pitching. I know it's so early in the year, but it's definitely not encouraging for a team that fell off. Their WRC Plus also fell off sharply last year. As I said, they're missing key pieces, but for a team that's taking less than the uh, league average in pitches per plate appearances... I just don't trust his offense to do enough against you, Darvish. His strikeout line is six and a half. I think it's maybe a touch too high, but that outline at 17 and a half is pretty fun. There's a lot of other good spots on this uh, slate. I don't want to take too much of your time here, but remember, even though it's nice to have baseball back, there's almost 5,000 games throughout the season. So early on, there's a lot of weather concern, pitching leashes, all that good stuff. So don't go too heavy on anything. And if you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. And uh, as always, I'm Brian versus the Books. See you guys next time.